I heard somebody talking a while back about um, like the the stories of you and um, like your life from birth to death and all of the things that happened to you in that in that in that life all of the connections all the people that you meet all the memories you make all the pain you suffer through um, all of the things like every single minute of every single day however many minutes that is there's no one in your life who will know all of that so you can't possibly tell one person everything that's happened to you or for you in your life so the only person that holds all of that information the only person that holds that key is you and yet <laughs> you're the first person to abandon yourself like how ironic is that that you are the only person that knows you from birth to death in entirety and you are the first person, maybe the only person that will truly abandon you. Why are we abandoning ourselves? Like there are times where we very intentionally choose something other than ourselves. And then there's this whole world of like self-love is selfish and all of this bullshit um, where we're shamed for choosing ourselves. Well, no wonder we abandon ourselves because there's so much shame and guilt and um, you know negative connotation with doing it. If you don't normally choose yourself, then for two hours with Meg, you will. Like that's that's it. And I feel like this. These sessions are either the start of that pattern for people or the continuation of that pattern for people. You're either already doing it or this is the beginning of you doing it.